y'all, it's Street Dynasty. I'd like to say welcome back to another video. And today, we got an album reaction here. And it's from Wi Fi's Funeral with his most recent project, Pain? Question mark. Now, I've heard Wi Fi's Funeral here and there. I haven't really listened to him like a long time. Like, back around like when I was like listening to X, I started listening to him a little bit here and there. And there's some songs I like from him, and like I don't remember really came for like uh, his project that he came out with, but like that was like a long time ago. So could have changed, could have not, who knows? But like people been questioning about like how he hasn't like blown up and stuff like that yet, which I got something to say, but I'll leave it until the end because I want to get into his album and see how it is, see if he can be someone that I can find a favor in. You know what I mean? Without further ado, let's just get into his new album and. See, it was good. Now, the first song, Lost in Time, featuring Corey LeRae. I need to figure out how to say her name. But, like, I already heard the song before. I did a video on it, so you're gonna watch it. I'll leave a link in the description down below. I remember not really caring for it, like, uh, at the, like when I first heard it, but I heard it, like, earlier today, and I was like, this song actually has some promise. Like, I liked how he's trying to do something different from what his usual style is, from what I remember. And I feel like it could be a song that could grow on me. Corey Marley, I thought she did pretty well too. By the way, when we do a video on like one of her projects, let me know and I'll do one. But but besides that, we'll move on to the next song in the story. First said I should leave you lonely. Then I'm really supposed to pictures on the ground, tell the world you mine. Pass right the way you ride up on that digit like a jet ski. Oh Just God. keep the end of the story. Okay, we're starting off pretty good. Like, see, like this album is gonna have more of, like a relationship type of vibe, like type of message to. I talk about the relationships and stuff like that. And in this one, he's basically talking about how like he's really close to this girl. And he sees her as more like uh, not only as a girlfriend, but as like an actual friend, like someone to like really care for and rely on and trust and stuff. And and like uh, and saying like no matter like um. How people see him, like how people, like how like friends like try like get in the way and so like saying like oh you should try to do better and stuff like that. He's still gonna ride. He's still gonna ride with her until eventually end, either the end of forever or they eventually break up. Whichever he just wouldn't stick it sticks to until the end. It, it kind of makes you realize that like I know like some people like to like post like uh, their man or their girl like on, on social media and stuff like that. To me, in my opinion, I feel like it's best like. Cool. Sure, you can do that every once in a while, but for me, it's best to, like, keep it, majority of it, like, what y'all been going through private and stuff like that. Because there's always, like, someone, like, in the third party trying to, like, mess it up or, like, trying to, like, uh, get with one of the persons you're with. You know what I mean? So, that's just my opinion. Y'all can let me know y'all's opinion in the comments or whatever. But, plus, I really liked the production of it, too. I feel like it was a really catchy song. So, overall, that's a certified thumbs up. I like it. Next song is What, what It Is. I like how hype that song was. That was like a that was a good song. Like first, like the beat was really good. You know, I haven't really like, heard like distorted bass. Like I mean, it wasn't like super distorted, but I haven't really listened to like, distorted bass type of production like a long time. And I thought it sounded really good. Wi Fi Fear, no, I thought he sounded really good on here too. And his flow was like, was like, that flow hit, I'm not gonna lie. I, I liked how his voice sounded on there too. Like, sure, he wasn't saying anything like super deep or super like, uh, you know, like anything super deep. He was just talking about like, how like, uh, oh, he's gonna mess with your girl, he's gonna mess with this one girl and stuff like that. But I still thought it would sound nice, and he didn't say anything stupid. You know what? I'll get that song certified thumbs up. That was a good song right there. Next song is Guy Like Me. You wanna fuck with a guy like me? I tell party. Man, like, why you play a lot? And I need a ride or die. Cause she had a man, but we fucked on a lot. I'm trying to slide in her pocket like somebody who gonna treat me like somebody, man. God take this pain off of my eyes. That's a good song, too. Like, right? him talking about how he just wants somebody to, like, treat him good and, and to be proud that, like, that, like, that's, like, her man and stuff like that, which, honestly, is really is the end goal, especially for you, like, it, like, a lot of people want, like, somebody who is willing to, like, who, like, just feels happy to be around them, you know what I mean? Like, 
just want to feel happy, just want to feel happy with. So I understand that. And then he's talking about how you see like he's been going through some things and like just like and he just wants it to heal and like wants to be in like a nice stable relationship and stuff, which oh, I'm sure a lot of people do. And yeah, like I thought it was pretty good. I really liked his singing in there. He doesn't have like the best vocals. He kind of needs all to help him out. But like I feel like you can kind of like hear like the pain in like his in like uh the way he sounds and stuff. Like he's actually he's like he's like hungry for this. Like he wants this. You know what I mean? So I I really do appreciate that. The one right behind about is that like even though the production was different, I don't. It feel like I, it has to be something I get used to. Like I don't feel like it's like the I don't know. It's just a little different for me. I had to get used to it. But besides that, sorry if I thumbs up. That song's pretty cool. Next song is Hills. If I walk through all the hell, would you buy for me? I know if a shooter asked me what I want, bitch, I say headshots. And if the name run no block, boy, they say you ain't valid. Mixing on, I can't trust a bitch. Fuck on rockers, I got no feelings. Smash gave me a black coat, but now I'm struggling black coat. I think so far that one right there is my least favorite so far. But it's not even like a bad song. It's just like, it's an okay song, but it like... It just like something that's like keeping it from like I don't know I f I guess it's just like too like generic I could say like I feel like just too generic to like really like wow me or really like keep me interested in it and then and then like uh again like his rapping like sure like his flow and stuff is really good he sounds nice but like he's not really saying much if that makes sense like he's talking about how like he wants someone who want, who's gonna ride for him. He he has like trust issues. Talking about like again like shooting people and stuff like that, which doesn't really do much for me, but it's something. But yeah, besides that, it's just he's not really saying much. Is one is the main gripe I have so far. Next song. This beat nice. Bounce on the dick to your back, ay. Bow down to me like a sensei. Working for the ball. I'm on the pills and the liquor at the same time. I'm walking on the dick like your whole life depend on it. And that was like, a, honestly, in my opinion, more generic than the previous song. But this song had better beat, I'll give it. This is more like those songs that like, uh, I don't know if you can see like a twerking song. Because I feel like the song was like a bit too slow for that. For, and like the vibe of it, it kind of gives all that dark, it's still kind of like that dark type of vibe to where like, I don't know if you really like twerk this, but like if you lay, if you, and you would, like, that's you. But like, this feel, it's not really the song for me though. It's not really. Next song is Take Me Away. Oh, will it be a different vibe when we're together? The emotion just Okay, that song was alright. I guess he's talking about like uh, he's with this girl that he's never really like met before, and they're just just seeing like how it goes. I guess like I don't know. I had to listen to it again, but I do appreciate that he tried to, like switch up the sound here too. Like it's not like he tried to like, play like, a little bit more of a rock sound to it. Well, I thought it was okay, you know, I'm not, like, the biggest person on rock or any genre besides, like, hip-hop and R&B. Which I thought was alright, and overall, that song was pretty decent, had, like, a decent message. It's like, it's like spending time with someone seeing how it goes. So, yeah, I thought, I thought it was a pretty decent song. Not really mad at it. Next song is Motion. I pop a pill, I'm in that motion, now float. So my, this is a stick, this is a chop, please don't get hit. Spend 6,000 on my fist, I'm down the strip of dance. I pop a pill, really can't breathe, can't process. Please excuse my rule, add it to come big bands in my pants. Couldn't even fit my wallet, I'm not as big. It had me at first, but like, the more it went on, I'm not glad, it kind of got a little boring. Cause, like, like, it's just like, the same, like, um, I'm sure it's slow, it's decent, but like, um, kind of used to like, throughout, like, the entire song, which, I feel like it kind of brings it down a little bit, but I, I wish he like switch it up a little bit more. And honestly, it's just, again, like the lyrics aren't really nothing really interesting in my opinion. Production's okay, but like, honestly, I'm sorry, I feel like he can do like a bit more with it in my opinion. But overall, I feel like that song is like a bit of a skip for me. Not really something I go back to. Next song is Front to Back, Slide to Slide. Sl slide to Slide, Side to Side. Baby, I'm so dead, I'm still not breathing. I don't need a tent. I let that soul out in the wind. I bet you never seen him again. Who that boy cuts on my wrist from the Cuban when it's beaming. Hope you see it. Pop it. Yeah. Front to back. 
Again, it's just like the rapping in here is just meh. It's just meh. Like, he's not saying anything dumb, but he's not saying anything like, like, it's just, it feels like he's just talking. And, like, that's how it feels. Like, I don't think I ever said that before about a rapper, but it feels like he's just talking on a song. Like, that's so far along the game. And plus, I'm starting to feel like he, he, can, he can experiment a bit more with the production, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it could... I don't know. I feel like that song could have had like a bit, like had like a bit more potential. It just wasn't really executed that well. Next song is Ocean featuring Smooth L. Oh, he sounded like he was moaning at the beginning. Like it, it, it just sounded kind of weird to me. That song sounded like it was kind of like it kind of sounded like, like that pop smoke Fabio foreign type of sound like that kind of like UK type of beat in a way I don't know exactly like what the right term it is for but it sounded kind of sound like that plus like the feature he sounded like he kind of like. He kind of sound like Fabio Foreign, like in a way from based on like song I heard from Fabio Foreign. Honestly, like this ocean, this song Ocean is kind of like backache in a way in my opinion. But I feel like this song's a bit better because like production gave it like this song a bit more life to me, but it still took me a bit to get into it, and it still like isn't really a song I would go back to that much. Like above average song is how I would say it. It's it's all right. It's all right. Next song is All In. If I can give that song one thing, it's that like it was a bit catchy. I thought the hook was really good in it. It's just like I feel like this album, like it kind of took a bit of like a downward spiral when it came when it comes to like the when it getting close to the end and stuff, which. I wasn't really expecting, nor what I want to happen, but it is what it is. It's just like, none of these songs really hate me that much, I can say. Next song is Day Switch. Okay, I like his edge down here. That song Day Switch had a bit more energy to it. I really like Lee Deal the hook, how like how like, he made it sound like made his voice sound and stuff like that. It really sounded like he was in pain. Like this girl just like really just like ripped his heart out and just broke it. Like you know what I mean? Like it really gave me that energy. The some of the like parts of the verses didn't really give that same energy, but some parts of it did, which kind of makes it hard to like just verses. But they I have to say that they were cool. And overall, this song was decent. I'm not, I like, I like what, I like the direction this song went. I like that. Next song is Screw Up. I get, I think I get what you talking about, how like, his life hasn't been like the whole greatest thing. But like um, it's just how it is, and I, I guess I kind of messed up with his head a little bit. Which I understand, but if you live in a bad environment, it could have like some pretty interesting impacts on you, whether good or bad. Besides that, the song just, eh, eh, it's just not really that. It just wasn't really that interesting sound. Like that's what I've been getting from this pro a lot from from a lot of this project so far. Just wish it was more. I wish it gave me more, but it's not. But it's giving me less. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. Next song is next song end of story part two. You know I mean the whole song is like add a feature. I mean I still like the song, but I know you do this shit on purpose to upset me. Oh my girl say you're toxic, I know. But she has a good voice. I still think the song's pretty cool. But I like Mar Maria Mariah, like I liked her verse on there. Kinda wish it was like a bit longer. Yeah, I feel like this it would make the song sound really good if she like sung with the hook. Like she sung the hook, like either by herself or with Wi Fi funeral. Like I thought that sounded pretty well. I just feel like I'd rather go to part one instead. And I don't know why. I just prefer part one. 
But part two, it's okay. I thought it was pretty cool. I'll give it a certified thumbs up for the effort it put in. But that was Wi-Fi Funeral Pain question mark. Now, how I feel about it. Honestly, it started off pretty good. Like songs like In the Story, What It Is, Guy Like Me. Like I have to add the song the album just got like less interesting. Like the how I describe it, it's like I feel like it's a bit too generic in my opinion. Like uh like the rapping like the rapping wasn't really that interesting on majority of the songs. Uh, like some of the songs like Yours is telling girl like hey like uh like a bunch of sexual stuff like that I guess like that didn't really interest me that much, even though I do listen to stuff like that, it just didn't really interest me on here. The production again didn't really like interest me. It's just like average I guess. Like nothing's really like terrible on here. Although I am glad this album is short, it's only like fourteen songs, thirty minutes, or a little over thirty minutes, and I feel like if this song was if this album was much longer, like like eighteen, twenty songs, something like that. I would like this out. I would like. I would be much more harder on this album, but it's just like I just feel. It's just like his rapping. Like again, like back to his rapping. It's just not really like that interesting. In my opinion. He just feel like he's just talking. He's like the way I describe. It, he's like a lesser inter. It's like he's like a less interesting little sky. It's like that's how I describe him. Sure, he has like a, he has like a good flow. Even though he uses it a lot, like uses the same flow a lot, quite a bit. Like you find a different flow. And, and like um, his voice is still pretty decent, but it's just like his rapping and his flows need to be changed up here and there. And, and also production, I feel like I feel like he can do like a lot more with that. With like he can do like more experimental, more like exciting production. I guess you could say like add like more interest, more add more like instruments or stuff like that. I don't know. Like just try something different. It just feels like he could put a lot. He could put a lot more effort into his album. Not saying he didn't put any effort whatsoever, but I feel like he could put like a lot more work into it, and it could turn out well. Because some of the songs where he was singing and talking about like relationship stuff and stuff like that, those are the songs that were pretty good. But when he started like talking about like, was talking about this random stuff like drugs, shooting people, sex stuff like that, it just got less interesting in my opinion. People wonder why he hasn't really blown up yet. And honestly, rap is just like an interesting genre, like, where you can make it, but then be like, be like erode the next day, or you can be there for the longest time, or not even blow up at all. Like, I feel like if he, I feel like if you've been doing rap or so for like five plus years or so, then I, and you haven't really gotten any. Like, uh, to that mainstream level, you either A, should, like, focus on your main fan base and try to make them happy, or B, like, just, like, stop doing it, in my opinion. Which, I feel like wi fi stream, I still feel like he does have potential to, like, be, probably, probably be pretty big. Not, maybe not, like, mainstream big, but, like, big enough to where he's a, like, it seems like he's good, it seems like he's good enough to, like, keep himself, like, financially, like, stable and stuff and stuff like that. It seems like his fan base really does rock for him, so I feel like he can make him happy. Plus, I know a lot of people don't like him, but he can try to be, like, a Russ type of character where, like, after, like, after, like, nearly years of doing it, he, like, eventually, like, gets that success that he's been working hard for, so that could happen, but that's my opinion on the whole situation, but overall, this album is just average, like an average album to me. Not something that's completely terrible, but not something that stands out for me. It's probably not something I would go back to that much. But anyways, that's my review on Wi-Fi Streamless album. Please let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments down below. Be sure to leave a like if you like the video and subscribe if you're new. Try and like grow like my, myself. Try to grow Team Dynasty. You know, you know, like just try to grow. Just try to grow the the, the fans. You know what I mean. But anyways, that's pretty much all I gotta say. This is Trey Dynasty. Hope you all have a great day. Thank y'all for watching, and I'm out.